All right, trying a new format this week uh, where I'm going to show you whether I was able to clone a $43 billion company during my flight from Dallas to Sarasota and back. Stay tuned to the end of this video and hope you get to enjoy it. Peace. Hey, everybody, vibe coders, aspiring builders, and thanks for watching this video. If you don't know who I am, uh, my name is Lazar. And uh, ever since January 1st, I've been on a self-imposed challenge to launch 50 projects in 50 weeks using only AI tools. And today I'm going to be showcasing my project number 14, which is going to be a stock tracker, which uh, AI called Stock Tracker Roo, and I kind of kept the name because I liked it. Um, this week, as any other week, I'm going to talk about why I decided to build this app, how does it work, and then kind of showcase a quick demo, what was the tech stack used, things that I did for the first time ever, and things that I plan to improve, uh, any of the challenges that I encountered during the build, and then just give myself a final uh, score, right? Um, so there's a couple of reasons why I decided to build this app and, and especially uh, why I decided to build it in a way that I did. So uh, last weekend, I participated in a Lovables uh, hackathon and I really felt this amazing rush that's associated with the fact that you are kind of on a time crunch to launch a project. Uh, it really kind of gave me a bit of a, different perspective as to how I can make my challenges more fun. Um, so I decided to, you know, well, because I knew that I'm going to travel for work, decided to try and build something during the two flights from Sarasota to Dallas and back, right? Um, and um, I've used Robinhood for the last 78 years to buy stocks. And um, one of the things that I usually do, though, before I do buy them is I add them to my watch list. And that's all right, but one problem and one thing that I don't know why Robinhood does not have is the ability to know what would have been the stock performance for me or my portfolio performance if I had purchased the stock on the day that I added it to the watch list, right? So I was like thinking, aha, uh -huh, maybe I should actually build an app for that, right? An app that will allow me to create a watch list and then give me the performance, hypothetical performance, as if I owned the stock and then do a little bit more than that as well. And obviously the main core question was not whether I can build it, but whether I can build it within the kind of a three and a half, four hour time period uh, of two flights uh, from uh, Florida to, to Texas. I'm going to showcase the app in a second. Before I do, it's super simple, like any other portfolio tracker. It allows you to add stocks to watch list and then tracks its performance, which is kind of new for, for my side. It allows you to also re recreate your portfolio completely, read the latest stocks market news, run stock analysis and have an investment advisor and then get custom price alerts. And this was all built during the flight itself, during the two flights specific, to be more specific, right? So I'm going to demo the app for you real quick. Um, again, landing page, pretty modest, just tells you what this is all about, illustrates the whole process, illustrates how the process works, then it has this uh, latest market news feed, which you know can give you a news about the economy, crypto, Forex, any kind of mergers, and this is all fetched via API in real time. Um, now, obviously, these are uh, just uh, placeholders. Again, I did not focus at all on making the landing page look better. My main focus was um, to really get the app to work. Now I'm logged into my account, and that's why I have access to all these fields, um, right? So primary one being uh, the analysis one, which allows you to basically uh, analyze um, stock performance uh, based on their ticker, and you know just get an insight into you know the price information and how 
how it's been tracking for a particular period of time. As you can see, the market in the U.S. is kind of collapsing these days um, pretty hard. Uh, so I hope you're buying the dip. Then we have the AI power analysis, which kind of tells you what its short, mid, and long-term strategy would be news-related uh, to the stock itself. You know, obviously, this hasn't been, the UI hasn't been worked on uh, uh, as much. And then you can also create price alerts. So, right, let's, let's do that right now just to see if it gets saved properly. So I'm going to say that I want to know when the Apple price crosses back $200 and I can see that in my price alerts and I will be hopefully able, yes, to see it back here as well in the alerts panel. Um, now, if I want to add any of the analyzed stocks to the watch list, I, uh, I can do that as well, right? And then, as I said, my main core reason for building this was to see what is my total gain or loss from the day that I would have added a particular stock, right? And again, from this chip panel, I can also delete, or better say, remove these stocks from my watch list, or I can set uh, different uh, price alerts, whether that's a, a, a price below, above, or percentage increase or decrease, right? Um, I can also build out my build my portfolio out, like pretty simple, uh, really. Portfolio was not my main um, thing to build because I think there's a lot of portfolio apps out there, right? Even Robinhood itself, you, you would purchase and then it will build portfolio. Watchlist was the main one. But then again, I wanted to allow users that would want to have portfolio inside of it to also have that feature included. Uh, I then also have a stock advisor, sort of investment advisor. And the reason why you are going to see some of these pages being uh, so far uh, um, spread out in their width is because I wanted to build them with kind of a mobile uh, first um, um, environment type of a thing. Now, obviously, um, this still needs to be worked on uh, with a couple of other things that I'm going to touch upon. But you can see here that you can just click to view a particular stock analysis directly and immediately and then it gets analyzed by AI. So that's one way to, again, go to the analysis um, and get recommendations or stocks to watch and top picks. Uh, you can also look at different investment strategies uh, between growth, momentum, dividend, or value. And then if you go into any of these, it just tells you what its performance has been uh, what are the main principles and then gives you an advice into, okay, these are the stocks that you want to add to watch list if you want to um, implement value investing uh, strategy, right? And then we get an overview of the uh, entire market, right? The market analysis as a whole. Now, you know, that said, uh, I don't even know and I don't think that these are fully accurate. They're, again, I was on a flight, so I really tried to make sure that the app works there's probably a lot of things here that are not properly connected to APIs. But, you know, again, this is a project that was very time bound that I just really wanted to build out fully. Then obviously you can set your account information. You can um, get an idea of like, um, or better say, specify your investment goals and preferred sectors. And based upon those, I believe that um, uh, the uh, strategy advisor, yes, will basically tell you um, you know, hey, the, you have these stocks in your portfolio or you have these stocks in, in your uh, tracking that uh, are basically corresponding to this momentum trading. And it's basically try to match you with your preferred investment style, right? Um, there's also a couple of menus here that haven't been fully finished. So the notifications, um, it's just like, it just gives you the uh, introspect of what, what can what I can build next, but that's something that needs to be worked on as well. Um, different displays like dark mode or high contrast and, and uh, default time frames and moving averages that would be included. And then obviously security in logging you in or out multiple devices, which again, some of these functionalities haven't been fully completed as I only had about, I would say, three and a half hours or so to to build this out. Um the tech stack that I used to build it uh, was, as usual, pretty common for me, like lovable Superbase, meaning front and back end. Uh, I used OpenAI API for in, uh, investment intelligence and stock analysis. 
uh, and then two APIs actually to fetch real time stock market play, market data. FinHub initially was there, uh, but then I found that it's free version that did not include proper charting, so I had to use Alpha Manage uh, as well. Uh, I'm trying to design this to be a mobile first web app, so really I need to make some improvements. And then as for my key tip of the week, it's actually not so much related to the tooling as much as it's related to vibe coding in planes. Uh, get seat upgrades if you plan to do it, because I got my elbows completely destroyed. Like it re I really couldn't set myself properly. I'm 6'3 tall, so like um, it's not that easy to fit myself properly in a in a plane seat. Uh, and have the ability to kind of fit my long arms as well uh, in front of a laptop. So yeah, that that was really painful, but it was still a fun, fun experience. Um, this is the first time I ever vibe coded in air, and I think it's really by far the best use of playing time, right? There's zero distractions. You have no phone signal, um, nothing. Like you're just there with the, uh, with the laptop, and I think it's really um, kept me in in check and kept me in focus more than I would have ever been uh, at my home. This is also the first time that I'm building a sort of a finance app. I've had like ideas for many many years to build one of them, and I uh, to me it's unbelievable that I'm able to do that. And then I really love doing these time bound projects. This is the first one that I've done in in such a way. Um, and I think I'm going to do many, many more of these, trying to either clone different projects or trying to build a certain thing within a certain couple of hours. I think I'm, I really have fun doing that a lot. Um, there's obviously, because of the time-bound uh, experimentation uh, bit of it, a lot of things that I need to improve. Primarily, I want to say a UI on mobile screens and then add, definitely adding support for dark mode and some other functions. And then, uh, you know, I think maybe uh, support for some foreign markets if necessary, because right now it only supports U.S. and you know, kind of the Nasdaq. I, I think is probably the the main one that I support. Um, really, the only challenge that I've encountered was that lack of comfort in in my seat, especially on my way to Dallas. the The return was somewhat better, but if I had more room, I, it would have been much easier. I maybe lost internet connection for like thirty seconds or something like that. So you know, again, pretty stable connection um on american airlines um really really amazing internet um there so um to wrap up the um process for this week uh realistically obviously i did not clone robin hood i'm not delusional like this is not even close to that um but you know i think tracker is pretty okay 80 commits total uh all with like some seo related and commits and some uh you know a visual edit. So I think, you know, that it's pretty great that I'm able to get apps to work within only like 50-ish messages. And I think I'm going to, I found a way to actually do it even faster. And I'm going to demo that in the next couple of weeks. So like, I think that's the biggest benefit of building week in and week out. I just get so much more things done with way less prompts. Um, I think it could be a lot better. So it's definitely six out of 10. I, I will, a go live with this on Lobo launched uh, tomorrow. So I'd love to get your support. And until then, if you want to test it out for yourself and add your portfolio and then, you know, create your own watch list right now as the market continues to decline, um, go and visit stock tracker with two O's dot lovable dot app. And uh, I'll see you as usual next Saturday. Until then, keep shipping, guys.